In the beginning, God was revealed in all the works of creation. It was Christ that spread the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth. It was his hands that hung the worlds in space and fashioned the flowers of the field. It was he that filled the earth with beauty and the air with song. And upon all things in earth, sea, and sky, he wrote the message of the Father's love. Sin has marred God's perfect work, yet that handwriting remains. Even now all created things declare the glory of his excellence. Everything lived to give, except the selfish heart of man, that live only for itself. All birds that cleave the air, all the animal that moves upon the ground, minister to some other form of life. Every tree, and shrub, and leaf, pour forth the element of life, without which, neither man nor animal could live. And man, and animal in turn minister to the life of tree, and shrub and leaf. The flowers breathe fragrance, and unfold their beauty, in blessing to the world. The sun sheds its light, to gladden a thousand worlds. The ocean itself, the source of all our springs and fountains, receives the streams from every land but takes to give. The mists ascending from its bosom fall in showers to water the earth, that it may be fruitful. The angels of glory find their joy in giving, giving love, and tireless watch care to the fallen and unholy. From the days of eternity, the Lord Jesus Christ was one with the Father, he was the image of God, the image of his greatness and majesty, the outshining of his glory. To this sin darkened earth, he came to reveal the light of God's love. He was the word of God, God's thought made audible. It must be seen that the glory shining in the face of Jesus is the glory of self-sacrificing love. In the light from Calvary, it must be seen that the law of self-renouncing love is the law of life for earth and heaven that the love which seeks not her own, has its source in the heart of God. Looking unto Jesus we see, that it is the glory of our God to give. All things Christ received from God, that he took to give. Through the beloved Son the Father's life flows out to all, through the Son, it returns, in praise and joyous service, as a tide of love, to the great source of all. And thus, through Christ the circuit of beneficence is complete, representing the character of the great giver, the law of life. To be God with us.